Director of AML here at NICE Actimize, and this is Actimize Uncut. In this short clip, what we're going to discuss is how machine learning is going to be transforming the anti-money laundering department in financial services. Through the use of machine learning, we are now going to be able to use this new analytical effort for better segmentation, tuning, simulation, anomaly, and predictive behavior detection. One of the biggest challenges in the transaction monitoring program of a financial institution is the actual setup of how you're going to detect your population groups and how you're going to optimize the tuning related to it. This has been a very manual effort over the past 20 to 30 years involving a lot of time, energy, and effort. But with the advent of machine learning and advanced analytics, this area is going to be transformed here in the coming years. Specifically, through the use of machine learning, we're going to be able to detect and create new population groups at a micro level, not just based on general characteristics of a type of industry or geography, but looking at further features within those population groups. The second area that machine learning is going to transform is in the actual tuning. Once you have your population groups optimized, the next goal you have to have is around your threshold management. Within machine learning, we're going to be able to run hundreds of simulations to determine what is the most optimal threshold for that specific population group before you even begin detecting. So through the use of advanced segmentation and automated tuning and simulation, machine learning is going to make the AML transaction monitoring programs optimized in the coming years. The other area of machine learning is going to help transform the transaction monitoring area of an anti-money laundering system is within its anomaly and predictive behavior detection. Traditionally, uh, transaction monitoring systems have been very rules-based because regulators have demanded that you have rules in place to help find known typologies. But the problems facing f uh, financial institutions today is that a lot of typologies are not known. You're seeing very crafty and very intelligent criminals pushing money through the system. Machine learning is really going to help us find this. From anomaly detection, finding new dynamic typologies as they occur, not finding them three, four years after the fact, but being able to find them in the, in the coming weeks or even days in certain instances. The other area where machine learning is really going to help the anti-money laundering space is around actual prediction. The whole goal of an alert within a transaction monitoring is potentially to file a SAR or a CTR within that, within that alert. With predictive analytics, machine learning is going to enable financial institutions to now predict the likelihood of a SAR from a particular alert, effectively cutting off a significant amount of time related to investigation and filing of those SARs. This is an area that within financial institutions there's been a tremendous amount of interest in and an area here at Actimize we've been working very diligently to make happen in the coming year.